hello guys and assalamu alaikum so um this is week two actually this is week three of book reading i didn't really read any book last week it was just extremely hectic so the next book i'm going to read is you have a brain by ben carson a teen's guide to think big i've read ben carson's book before and that was um Ida gifted hands or think big one of them and I actually don't fully remember what's inside the book. <laughs> Why um the story I remember of Ben Carson was a movie we watched when we were a lot younger. A guy acted Ben Carson and all, so that's just what I remember. So I'm going to read this. I have no idea what is what it is about, but then let's get into it. Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome back to my book reviews. Today is Thursday and was still on the book you have a brain by ben carson i don't know why this book is taking me forever but i feel like i'm connecting with the book so much it's taking me forever because i've been busy lately i've not really been reading and i have been i don't know distracted yes and my mom has not reminded me of the punishment but then i always pass the book and i was like okay today i have to fight these distractions and finish it inshallah don't mind my blankie i really did not feel like carrying hijab to do this video so i just decided i was already wrapping myself with the blanket i'm reading the book so i just decided to just wrap it out like veil or something the main thing is i'm covered in this book i'm just realizing that in this book his mom made him do a book review it was two books per week and he will review the book at the end of the week and he was around 11 years old or so I just feel like this is where my mom got my my own punishment from though i don't know i don't know where she got it from but i think it's where she got it from so what i have learned in you have a brain so far is you have a brain <laughs> is you can use your brain that god has given you to do a lot of things Ben Carson's mother was his first mentor, role model and all. Ben Carson's, ben Carson's mom was not really educated, not much. She didn't know how to read. So she just made them read the book reviews loud out. Like they should just read it to her, whatever they would share. He and his brother, sorry. So um, one thing I learned from this book is the power of influence. I mean, we've always been taught in civic education and social studies how uh peer group influence we write it in exams and everything i know peer group influence but i know i have i have also been influenced so many times by the kind by the circle of friends i have but then um i feel like this book is really opening my mind to see how powerful the kind of friends you keep can be how they can determine who you are going to be um so they say tell me show me your friend and i'll tell you who you are that thing is true and like i believe it now anyways so what i've learned in this book i've learned a lot about power of um self-confidence self-esteem and leadership leadership skills how you should learn to be a leader in the future and all i don't know whether i have leadership skills i don't know i really don't know I don't know if i've been in a situation where i think i've been in a situation where i had to be a leader somewhere but i can't remember there's a part of this book that interested me there's a sentence his mom said that that was like i picked interesting and i felt like it's kind of connected with rich dad poor dad the mom his mom worked in people's houses let me see as a nanny probably i think that's what i understand so she she was telling them that you see the people she's working for that's the, all the rich people at that time that own big houses spend less time on tv and at that time we they didn't have androids like this so they spend less time on tv on playing football outside on trying to be the cool kids in the environment and they spend more time reading books they spend more time with their family and things like that so it's just like what rich that poor dad said the rich people have that secret that they never tell you <laughs> so they spend more time reading they spend more time learning things you guys should read 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 more books read different books 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 you've never imagined yourself reading not just novels like i was just mainly based on novels no 
you should read books that you'd learn from books that would meet when you talk people know that yes this person has arrived you get me you get you get me and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said knowledge is the last property of a muslim wherever you see knowledge you pick knowledge is the last property of a muslim wherever you see knowledge you should pick knowledge so reading is um advised in islam gaining education gaining knowledge so you should read 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 and read ben carson is telling you to read mm -hmm.